Hello traders, Steve Gans here, and I want to share with you the value of knowing when and how to adjust a trade. So many newer options traders think that the whole options trading game is you put on a trade and then you see what happens, see how it plays out. I'm going to tell you that's not it. Now, in certain instances, that could work just fine. In fact, one of the instances that I did in the start to finish series, that did kind of work out fine, but I also juiced that trade. I made an adjustment to that trade, and that adjustment added a significant amount to this trade. So I want to kind of show you that and show you what I did, when I did it, why I did it, and then what the end results were. So these are the two trades. I started this trade back on June 11th, and I did it by doing this bull put spread. So I sold a put spread. My expectation was that the market was going to go higher. So this is back on June 11th. Oops, so let, let's take a look here at our market on June 11th. So we come in here. So that was right in this range here, right on this bar. So first question is, why did I enter a bullish trade here? Well, I entered a bullish trade here because the queues broke out to all new highs. And they broke out to all new highs with what I would call some force. So basically this, this bar opened here this day and exceeded the prior three days bars, again, hitting all new highs. That's a bullish signal. We're also trading in a channel here. My expectation was that in the coming days, this might make it to the top of the channel which of course it did. So that was my reason for opening this trade on 611 the way I did. Now had I opened that trade and I had never done anything to that trade, I'd be closing it out here today at about $140 in profit. So nice profit. Uh, essentially, I'm, I'm a couple bucks away from max profit, so I would be closing this at this point. No sense in leaving that risk hanging out there for the two to three bucks. So that would have been one version of the trade. But let's take a look here at the modified version, how I juiced this trade. This trade was going in my favor considerably, and then I found a way to basically add some more premium into the trade, allowing me to gain a significant amount more profit out of the trade and reduced my downside risk in the process. But I did bring in some upside risk that didn't used to be there. So this happened on July 8th. So why July 8th? Why would I have brought that in on July 8th? Let me move my smiling face out of the way here. So we get to July 8th. Well, what are we seeing happening here on July 8th? Well, we're pretty much at the top of this channel. And the queues have been adhering to this channel, you know, uh, one, two, three, four times they hit the top of that channel and backed off. So my expectation was that there was likely to be some sort of a, a drop from the top of this channel. And that didn't mean that I didn't think it might not go a little bit higher, which is why I ended up selling the call spread that I sold. You can see here we actually hit up to about $503. So if we look at that particular spread I did, uh, what call spread did I sell in this process? Well, I sold the uh, 508510. Okay, so I gave myself a little bit of buffer in this trade to allow the market to rise up even a little bit higher in case I was wrong, in case I was off a little bit. And it did, as we saw, go up a touch higher, but then it pulled back off. So by understanding some technical analysis, how to read the market, uh, and of course, no technical analyst is right every time, but if you can place odds on these things, such as I think there's probably a 60 to 70% chance if we're in a bullish market and we break to a new high that we're going to go higher. I think there's a 60, 70% chance that if we're coming up to the top of this channel and this underline has adhered to this channel one, two, three, four, you know, previous times, 
the odds are in my favor that it's going to adhere to this yet again. But again, I did give it a little bit of buffer there, as you'll recall. So that's putting technical analysis into play. And by putting technical analysis into play, that allowed me to basically turn what would have been a $140 profit into just shy of a $200 profit with relatively limited additional risk in the trade. Um, and when I say additional risk, again, my expectation was that I really did not expect this to break to the upside from there. Uh, again, it, it could have, in which case I would have been back to about a scratch trade, unless I learned how to adjust this and had that broken out higher, what I likely would have done was taken this entire put spread and maybe rolled this put spread up you know, maybe all the way up there to that 508, turning this trade into a butterfly might have been a logical thing to do there. But again, understanding how to make these adjustments is critical. That's where a tool like Option Strat comes into play. I can come in here at any time and look at the what if scenarios. What if I sell a call spread? What if I adjust, roll up the put spread, etc. So those are the key things to understand and know how to do. So at this point, I'm just going to lock, close both these trades out. And they expire here um, at the end of this week, and they've achieved about all they can achieve. So hopefully you found that of value. If you did, please like subscribe. Ask me some questions. If the questions aren't too detailed, I do like to respond to them uh, in the comments area. Sometimes the questions are a little bit more than what I can address there. Like a common question is, well, how would you adjust this? Well, there are so many variables in how to adjust something, such as how close are we to expiration? What is my opinion of the market? How do I read the market from a technical analysis standpoint? Um, if the market has run up, do I expect it to stall or do I expect it to continue running? If the market has pulled back, do I expect it to stall? Do I expect a bounce? So there's so many different variables that come into play there. It's not just a simple answer of, oh, I do this. So this is where time, practice, using a tool like OptionStrat comes into play. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great week.